Hello Star Fam! Here we are again in the Winter Riders and I don't even remember what I was supposed to do last time so let's just head back to Cape Point to finish up that quest over there and I think we might want to head on over to Cape Point Village as well, as well just to... Uh, let's see here. I think... no. Yes. No, this is Lisa. Hmm. I thought that we were going to the village to help Henry over at the riding hall, but then I recall that we need to go to Meander to do so. So, let's go to Meander first. <laughs> I'm changing my mind all the time, but let's let's go back. I think that's for the best anyway. I need to stock up on water, which I should have done over there at Mercury Lake. And mm -hmm. We do have quests with Henrietta. And I think that I know what it is, but let's just head back to Meander and have a look over there. Because we do have a couple of quests there. For example, I think, let's see here. Yeah, we have Kevin, for example. And you guys might know him from the previous game. We met him in Hollow Woods, actually. Where he had lost his grandmother's dog. And he's here again. Uh, no dog, no grandmother, but he's still Kevin. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, let's cross the river. I haven't been riding here for years, so this is really strange to me. <laughs> but I really like the bridge, the bridges crossing the river. I think that they add some... Well, some more environmental... Nice... I don't even know. English is not on par today. I'm sorry, guys. Trying my best, but sometimes the English just can't keep up. Um, I think we should talk to... Is it? I always forget what is called the guy who runs the store. Is it Antoine here? I think it's Jack in Cape Point and Antoine here. Yeah. And here we can stock up, stock up on water too. I'm trying to be better with my pronunciations this year. This is one of my New Year's resolutions. I don't really like having New Year's resolutions, but I'm trying to this year to improve my language. Because I'm tired of myself always sluddering so much. So I'm trying to be better at talking. <laughs> and, well, that goes for the Swedish too. Now when I only do talk two languages, I should be able to speak kinda correctly, I think. <laughs> I hope. So it's a goal for me. Let's talk to him over here. Hello there. Oh yeah, look, we have a lot of quests, or two. So we need some spare parts for Henry's heater. And we also uh, need to help out in Cape Point because they are having huge troubles with rodents still. So we're going to bring some ja rat poison. Oh, rat poison. Do we really want to do that? <laughs> and then also we have... Hello dear, well, here's someone taking liberties. He wants us to take something for to bring to the man in the castle over there, which is the cranky Mr. Sands. So we are going to Pine Hill Mansion to talk to Mr. Sands. That Mr. Sands, yes. So that oh. will be interesting. So here we get all the things for Mr. Stevenson, Henry that is. And I'm gonna put the rat poison over there. Hmm, now I'm considering what should we do. Should we head over to Pine Hill just to discover it today? Or, nah, let's begin with Kevin and then see what we'll do. Because I really wanna just talk to Kevin and, well, finish up that one quest he will have. <laughs> I think he's outside of this house. Somewhere. Kevin! Oh, there he is. And Kevin wants to build a snowman. And of course you know what I want to make a pun of now. <laughs> Hello. Uh, he built a snowman. Looking good. And he calls him Mr. Frosty. I'm very disappointed he wasn't called Olaf. He has no nose, so we need to find a carrot. 
And carrots aren't very easy to find around here because of course the ground is entirely frozen and covered in snow. But we will be able to find one. And he will stay here just to make sure that no one ruins Mr. Frosty while we are having a look around. And over here I think... yes. Here is a carrot. Very strange place to place a carrot, but oh well. Hello. So now Mr. Frosty gets a proper nose. And no, I don't want to dismount. Get up again, you. There we go. Hello. Okay, uh, Kevin needs more help with Mr. Frosty. He needs stones to give him a mouth and eyes. He do already have a mouth and some eyebrows, but no eyes. That's creepy. So let's find some pebbles around here. So we can give our snowman a mouth. Oh, here's one. Snowman stone. Yeah, um, some of the code is... A kind of broken in the English translation of this game. <laughs> it's not supposed to say so. Like, this is supposed to say, like, snow, not meander underscore snowman stone. But of course, that's what it's called in the Excel sheets in which they have built this game. I do believe it was built on Excel sheets. Not that I have ever asked, though. I'm just assuming it is. I think there should be a stone somewhere here, yeah. I'm doing most of this, like, by memory. Because I've done this so many times. And I know that I could have a look up on the map if I wanted to. But I'm more like, hey, where's all my pebbles? So, heading back to Kevin. I'm really glad that I took my time to earn some money previously because it's gonna make stuff way easier for me moving forward in the game now when we have over a thousand stable points. And last time a lot of you guys told me that I should get the grey Canadian worm blood as a later horse. And I think since no one seems to be very into another horse than that one, I will probably not get another horse until I can get the Canadian worm blood. Now, Mr. Frosty has his eyes and mouth, and I think we're done here for now. We do have a quest on the other side of the river. But should we go to Pine Hill? I really want to. Let's go to Pine Hill. Just because I really like that place. And over there you can see the dam, I still think that's what it's called. Uh, and. That's the place where we were with Linda in Starshine Legacy episode 2, level 6. So if you want to have a look at that and haven't already, you can find it on my channel in the playlist Starshine Legacy. And of course, as I told you guys before, my goal is to be able to record all the old Jorvik games. Uh, currently we're on to game number 6 out of 12. And I hope we will be able to do Star Academy as well, but I still have no idea if those games are available in English. I hope so. Uh, but if I can't get them to run in English at home, I will ask one of the developers of that game. I mean, it's super old, but I will ask one of the developers to see... Well, one or several, I can pick and choose. <laughs> to see if any one of them knows anything, if the game ever was available in English, or if I could be able to get it. Because I would really like to play it. It is... it's a fun old game. It's a bit like Dance Dance Revolution. Unfortunately, I have some issues with my shoulders, because I'm seated so much by the computer. So I need to be careful when playing it, because I usually get a lot of pain from playing it. So I can never play it for too long at once. So over here now, you can see something red up above here, and that's actually the Pine Hill Stable. But I'm not going there now, because we need to meet Mr. Sands. So we are going into the village. You can see the stable to the right. We are going this way. We could have a peek in the store and see if we can find something fun to buy. 
since we are passing through the village anyway. Can have a look at the map and see what star we will unlock here. Because I guess we'll get a star from here. I think we get we unlock this place around here. I don't remember. So here we don't really have those kind guys hanging around the store. We have some dark core goons, which is well, not very reassuring. Let's see. Fantastic blanket. Hmm. But that's of course a brown one. I don't want a brown one. We have a fantastic riding coat. Oh, oh dear. And all of these are quite nice because they look different than we used to from the previous game. I think this one will look better than the one we currently have, but I don't think it will help us that much, no. I will not buy that one simply because it won't really help us, but maybe this one. Command 10. But it's kind of expensive, so I don't know. Ooh, a 300 stable points jumping jacket. And of course, the legendary jacket, really. Was that called legendary in the last game? I don't think so. But maybe I should... Nah, I don't think I should get anything today. Maybe a bridle. No, a saddle, I mean. Speed 7. Discipline 7. Oh. I think I should get... Let's take this saddle. And hope that this one looks better than the one I currently have. Because this one has a mix-up on textures. It's the wrong texture to the wrong mesh. So it doesn't really look that good. So let's have a look at this new one. Oh, that's way better. Yeah, let's get rid of this old one. We're gonna sell it. Uh, yeah, speed 7, that's way better. So, bye-bye saddle. Bring me some money. Thank you. And no star unlocked. Hmm. But maybe... No, I don't remember. But we do have, like, another part of the village going through the ice on the river, like we can jump on the ice to get to the stable. So we'll have a look later and see if that will unlock one of these. Because I guess it's like the mansion, the village. Um, I know there's a secret area uh, kind of close to here, we will have a look at that at a later point. And up here we have the mansion! And of course this looks a bit different than it did in Starshine Legacy. I do prefer the look in SSL over this one. <laughs> But I really, really love Pine Hill. I think it has so much potential to bring amazing stories. Pine Hill Mansion! And it was this star. And imagine if this ever would come to SSO. I think we would have so much fun with it. I really, really hope it will get there one day. So here he is. The boss himself and some goons around. Hmm. Uh, French food! Um... He's not very happy about that. And he, the issue is that around here he's in charge of choosing the ones who will ride in Decker Horse Show. So we need to stay on his good side. But right now he does not want to talk to us anymore. So we're just going to head back. And I wonder how my XP looks. Can I see that? I guess I need about 300, 300 more to reach next level. But I'm not sure because I don't really know the XP levels here. And as you can see, there will be a race around here, uh, held by Mr. Sands. He will be in charge of it. Very fun. And there is a riding hall, if you go this way. You can see it up there. But we don't have any quests there, so we there's no use for us to go there at all. So I think we should head back to Meander for now. And... Yeah, I think that's our best bet. Just head back to Meander, finish that quest. We haven't done the... We did, never took the medals at Jessica's, right? Because in that case I think we should. Okay, so we have three. And they're from Linda, they're from Katja, and they're from Eric. Yeah, so... Jessica's medal seems like a good way to continue. So we have done that. But perhaps we should... Should we sneak a peek in the Pine Hill stable? I think we should, because I really want to see the horses. Because we do have a couple of different horses, and I know that most of you right now wants me to pick the grey Canadian. 
and I think that will be the horse that I will be most content with. But I would like to show you all the horses anyway, just so you can have a look at them. Uh, because it's fun. So if we go up here, we will reach the stable. I guess this will be an unlockable location. Maybe? Yes, there it is. And this guy will not want to talk to us right now, so, well, bye-bye. Uh, and I cannot press X to dismount, I've been playing too much Star Stable lately. <laughs> too much SSO, I'm so used to all the hotkeys, I really, really miss them in this game. So here we have, I think this is, is this a Westphalian horse? Yes, it is. So this is the legendary horse from SSO, which is only available in a chestnut color. Uh, that's actually the only horse breed in the entire SSO, apart from the Sony who can only be bought in one single color. As of the recording of this video, of course, because it's very possible that will change in the future. Here we have... what What would you be? You are an Australian Warmblood. This is the contender for the place of my racehorse, because this is one of the best horses in this game. Uh, perfect speed, very good endurance, good discipline and amazing strength for 6,000 stable points. That's a lot. What level did I need to be on? Level 11, yeah. And here he is. I don't know what name I will pick. But discipline perfect, speed very good, strength very good, endurance very good. Like, this is a way cheaper horse. I personally like the look of it more. I like the color a lot. Even though I like the model of the Australian better. But I think this would be a really good horse for us. We can improve the speed with some good gear. So it doesn't really matter. I'd have some clothes with a lot of stats and I just tack up my horse so it will be perfectly fine. But here you actually see the same horse we started out the journey with in the last game but this is not an Irish Droth. This is a Bajoni which is a Russian breed. Um, and if you would like, if you like the horse from the last game and you're playing this now and you would like to play with this horse again it's way way easier because this horse has a lot better stats. Uh, a bit more expensive of course but I could get it now if I wanted to. Um, yeah, but it's a really nice horse to ride around on. And this color you might recognize as one of the old starter horse colors from SSO. Of course, this is uh, a bit updated now with the starter horse 2.0 update. And this is a Swedish Wormblood, which made me really shocked when I actually read this. Because in the Swedish copy, this is not a Swedish Wormblood. In the Swedish copy of this game, the Swedish Wormblood is not present in the Winter Riders. But on the other hand, it is present in the Summer Riders. No, I'm just kidding, in the Spring Riders. So this was very strange. I really do wonder how this came to be. But oh well, uh, I'm a bit sad because I know that the Swedish Wormblood in the Spring Riders is... One of the most gorgeous horses in this entire game series. And I really hope that it will still be a Swedish Wormblood. Because I am proud of our Swedish Wormbloods. But oh well. What in the world were you in the Swedish copy? I don't remember. Okay. Come on Vossi. Let's go. Vossi is a really pretty horse. I'm very glad that you guys picked her for me. Because I would probably not have picked her myself. I would, If I had picked myself I would have picked the Gelderlander. But I will play this game again after finishing this because I have a couple of video ideas uh, which will not be played through videos but some other videos and I will probably pick the Gelderlander then because it is a really pretty horse and I've never actually played with it so I would really love to do that. But for now, um, sun still high on the sky, let's go back to Meander. And somewhere here in the woods, not really in the woods, but somewhere around the hills here, we will be able to find Alex at a later point because she has a cross country course. And that's kind of fun, as far as I remember. I think it's a bit difficult in some places. Shouldn't be too much difficult for me now. Currently, when I'm recording this, I've been hosting a lot of live streams on my Swedish YouTube channel where I live stream. I said live stream, I level my horses. Uh, so I've been training a lot, so I hope I'm getting better at racing feels like it anyway since I'm leveling my horses every single course in the game every time I live stream. So that's really really fun. It's been super nice to level while having people to talk to because leveling your horses isn't always the most fun short to do especially not when you've been playing the game for 
like seven years as I have <laughs> and you get kind of tired of the courses after a while. But it's been really fun. So nowadays I have to like plan all my videos because I'd rather live stream. I think it's so much fun. So I need to plan my videos to make sure that I always have something something to post. But then again, I really, really enjoy this series and I'm, I'm having so much fun with it. So yeah, over here I think you might be able to spot Alex. You can see that the finish line. And she's probably somewhere around here. We might be able to see her if we go closer, but we won't do that right now. We will talk to Eric instead. Just to finish up that quest, and maybe we will be able to take the medals as well. We will do a lot of things today. Because, yeah, it's uh, it's probably a couple of minutes left till twilight. We will be able to, to take all three medals, I think. Let's just do it! But I will have to give Vossi some water first. Hello, Eric. Hmm. Oh yeah, the holiday card. Um, oh, so <laughs> poor Jack can get his holiday card next year. And the rodents. Um, and he will think of something to, for the rodents. And I will just quickly give Vossi some water. And then we'll take the medals with Jessica. And then we can come back and take up on Eric's quests next time. But we will not have time to do everything today. That would be enough. I like that I was able to get a black saddle, but we did lose the girth. Do you see that? <laughs> we do have a buckle there, but no girth. But we do have the saddle pad now, which we didn't a while back with the old brown one. I don't know if any one of you have been playing SSO long enough to remember it, but years back when the game began, there were no girths, so the saddles were like staying on magically. And then one day, in an update, just magically they all appeared because the team had fixed them, and all the players were very happy. Mm -hmm. Let's just take all the medals right now, and we can take her other quest next time. Because now the sun is setting, I don't want that, I just want to take all my medals. And this will be quite easy with Vossi, since she is a very nice horse to ride around on as it is. Her stats is kind of good, I haven't really checked them, but I haven't really felt that she's a difficult horse to ride. Apart, like, if you compare her to the horses from the previous game, she is perfect. Mm. Bronze medal! Mm. And it's over there. Let's just go through this quickly. Trying for the silver medal so soon. Yes, we are. And here I can only have one pole down. Don't want any penalties here. So. Love her jumping position. <laughs> Look at those feet. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> yeah, animations weren't the best in 2008. Silver medal! Yay! And just one more to go. And of course I cannot have any pulls down this time. So hopefully I won't. <laughs> I don't think it will to I don't think it will be too much of an issue. There we go. Yay! So now we have the medals. We've been to Pine Hill. We built a snowman. We've done so many things today. So I'm just gonna say that that's it because the sun is setting. It's gonna be night time. I need to stay overnight and save the game. And we'll be back with a new episode next Sunday. So thank you all so much for watching. I am so happy to have your support. It's so much fun to read all your comments every t every week when these videos are released. And uh, yeah, if you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already to see more horse games every single week, and start a comment in the discussions if you would like to. I would love to talk to you guys. So thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope to see you all next time.